I've made kits in little plastic bags that you can pick up from the district office if you want to participate in this at-home lab. So you'll get a kit in a plastic bag. Inside the kit there's the film canister and two packages of Alka-Seltzer. The film canister has a snap lid so when you close it make sure it snaps tight. Inside each one of these packages there'll be two tablets that look like this. It's possible to use a, a partial tablet as well. Recommend you start with one tablespoon of water. I'm going to put it in this little pitcher here. So this is just ordinary water, not distilled water. So if you wanted to experiment with temperature, you could put this in the microwave or you could ice it, see if that makes a difference. So here I've opened the film canister. The Alka-Seltzer tablet will fit right inside. So it's, it's a, kind of a perfect fit there. This is one way to do it, to put the Alka-Seltzer in first. The other way is to put the water in first. Once you add the water, it's going to start fizzing. So add the water, snap it on tight, turn it upside down. That's how you make the rocket. So here I'm putting in the water, and it starts to bubble. Put the lid on tight, turn it upside down. Then get back to a safe distance and wait for it to pop. So there you can see there's still quite a bit of the tablet left over, so you may be able to do experiments with that as well. So I tried again using the remains of that first tablet. Didn't want to waste it. So I put the fresh water, that's the remains of the tablet going in, turn it upside down, and then wait and wait and wait you want to time this how long does it take to go so that one landed on my roof but it came back down it was a great rocket hope you have fun with this experiment So I'm asking you to do some experiments. There are a lot of variables you could try. One is the amount of water you use, the temperature of the water, the amount of Alka-Seltzer you use. You could also crush the Alka-Seltzer into little bits. That might make a difference. And there are other variables you can think of on your own. For the results, one variable might be how, how high did it go, and the other might be how much time did it take to launch. So recommend you time the first one so you have a baseline to go with. If you set it up and it doesn't pop, that could be dangerous. Make sure you're not sticking your face right here and saying, whoa, what happened, and then have it pop into your eye. That would be bad. So keep it at arm's length, like that, and now if it didn't pop, do that, let the pressure go. For advanced students, you can do some calculations. It tells you what's in the tablet, and we could calculate how much pressure builds up if all of this reacts.